2022 meeting in Philadelphia City Commissioners to order. First, I will preserve the order and decorum of these meetings. Everyone in attendance should be on notice that shouting out or interrupting the proceedings will not be tolerated. Those who violate this will be as to leave. The Sunshine Act permits anyone attending a public meeting to object to a perceived violation at any time during the meeting. If you choose to do so, please distinctly state your objection. Objecting is not an opportunity for speech making. We will now move to public comment. Commenters shall state where they live or if they are not a resident of Philadelphia, that they are a Philadelphia taxpayer. Public comment is not an opportunity for dialogue or Q&A. It is public comment. The chance for you to tell us what you think. Each speaker shall have two minutes. However, I may extend this time at my discretion. All public comments must be relevant or germane to board business. Finally, it is my responsibility to preserve the order and decorum of the meetings. As such, profane, slanderous, discriminatory, or personal attacks will not be tolerated. Is there anyone here for public comment? We will now move to Commissioner Bluestein for email public comments. There were no email public comments as of 9.5 a.m. this morning. Thank you. We will now call on Nick Custodio to read uh, Joe Lynch's report from the executive director. Good morning, commissioners. Uh, Bill is at sick today, so he asked uh, me to read his report for a uh, sunshine report uh, for May 4th, 2022. County Board of Elections, City Hall Room 140 is currently available to produce election ballots on demand, including replacement ballots. Ballot, uh, replacement ballots can also be requested at ballot form at PhiladelphiaVotes.com. The voter has already applied for a ballot. The application deadline for absentee and mail-in ballots is Tuesday, May 10th. As of yesterday, we have processed all ballot applications received from Sunday. We have approved 92,942 vote by mail applications uh, for the primary, which is 7,935 and last week's of these, Of those applications so far, 56,043 are paper applications and 36,899 are electronic applications. Uh, to date, the vote by mail unit has mailed out 89,137 ballots and have received back approximately 25,000. Uh, there's another uh, mailing uh, set to go out this morning with the remaining. Uh, for the election cycle uh, to date, uh, we have processed 106,068 registration applications, of which 9,459 were paper. Uh, the voter registration deadline was this past Monday. Uh, all registration applications are up to date. We received uh, 3,794 mail in application. Uh, all, all units except documents are working primarily on processing mail and apps. Documents unit is uh, preparing street lists. All street lists are ready for distribution. Uh, for the last night of registration, we received 700 applications. Uh, polling place unit, uh, May 17th primary election, there are 705 locations. All locations are secure. There are 55 changes for this election. Sign for, signs for poll and place location changes have started to be hung in the divisions uh, impacted. Uh, one at the old location and one at the new location, as well as three uh, throughout the division. The election board unit, uh, online training. Uh, 1,228 poll workers did online training. So far we have 6,504 confirmed poll workers. Left message for 400. Uh, 1,525 declines. Uh, we've trained uh, 1,909 uh, poll workers in person, and we have another 938 scheduled for in-person training. Thank you. Thank you. We'll now move to any new business. Commissioner Bluestein, do you have any items to be added to the agenda? I have not. With no items remaining on the agenda, this meeting is adjourned to the call of the chair.